Good evening. Fidel Castro, the Cuban revolutionary who led a rebel army to an improbable victory and built a communist state on the doorstep of the United States, has died at the age of 90. As Alan Buchner reports, Castro defied U.S. efforts to topple him and outlasted nine presidents during his almost half century of rule. Fidel Castro took power in 1959 and ruled Cuba with a mixture of charisma and iron will, creating a one-party state and becoming a central figure in the Cold War. Querido pueblo de Cuba. With a shaky voice, his younger brother, Cuban President Raul Castro, announced his death on state television. Castro overcame imprisonment, exile, and a disastrous start to his rebellion before triumphantly riding into Havana to become, at age 32, the youngest leader in Latin America. He fended off a CIA-backed Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961 and survived countless assassination attempts. His alliance with Moscow helped trigger the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, a 13-day showdown with the United States in which the Soviet Union was setting up nuclear weaponry in Cuba. The episode brought the world the closest it's been to nuclear war before U.S. President John Kennedy convinced the Soviets to back down. Always wearing military fatigues, Castro was famous for long speeches filled with rhetoric, usually aimed at the U.S. At home, he swept away capitalism and won support for bringing schools and hospitals to the poor. But he also created legions of enemies and critics for his iron-fisted style of rule. It led legions of people to flee Cuba to the United States to escape what they saw as a ruthless tyrant. In the end, it was not the efforts of Washington or Cuban exiles, nor the collapse of communism that ended his rule. Ill health forced him to cede his power to his younger brother Raul, provisionally in 2006, then definitively in 2008. Although Raul always glorified Fidel, he also changed Cuba. He introduced market-style economic reforms, and in December he agreed to re-establish diplomatic ties with Washington. It took six weeks before Fidel Castro offered lukewarm support for the deal, raising questions about whether he approved of ending hostilities with his longtime enemy. In his final years, Castro wrote some newspaper commentaries on world affairs and occasionally met with foreign leaders, but he lived in semi-seclusion. His death, which would once have thrown a huge question mark over Cuba's future, seems unlikely now with Raul in firm control. Fidel Castro, dead at age 90.